Chapter 13 Triangles and Quadrilaterals Triangles We have already seen that we can mark many points on a given line. Three or more points which lie on the same line are called collinear points. Points A, B, C and D which lie on the same line are collinear points. But in figure shown, only two points A and D lie on the line. Points B, E, C and F do not lie on that line. Hence, these points A, B, C, D, E and F are called non-collinear points. If three non-collinear points L, M and N are joined together, we get a closed figure called triangle. This triangle is named as triangle L, M, N with its sides as L, M, M, N and N, L and three vertices as L, M and N. The three angles named as angle L, M, N, angle M, N, L and angle N, L, M are the angles of the triangle. Three angles are denoted by angle M, angle N and angle L respectively. The three angles and the three sides of a triangle are together called the six parts or elements of the triangle. Thus, the triangle is named in three different ways. Triangle L, M, N, Triangle M, N, L, Triangle N, L, M. Vertices of triangle L, M, N are L, M and N. Angles of triangle L, M, N are angle L, angle M and angle N. Line segments of triangles L, M, N are L, M, M, N and N, L. The side L, M is the base of the triangle N, L, M. Angle N opposite to the base L, M is called the vertical angle of the triangle. Angle L and angle M are part of the base LM, hence are called base angles. Classification of triangles Do you know how to classify triangles? Yes, since there are six elements in a triangle, that is three sides and three angles, classification of triangle is done on the basis of these elements. Triangles are classified in two ways, on the basis of sides, on the basis of angles. Classification of triangles on the basis of sides. Scalene triangle. A triangle in which all three sides are unequal in length is called a scalene triangle. In the given triangle ABC, AC is greater than BC, which is greater than AB. 6 cm is greater than 5 cm, which is greater than 4.5 cm. Isosceles triangle. A triangle in which two of its sides are equal in length is called an isosceles triangle. In the given triangle PQR, PQ is equal to PR, equal to 6 cm. Equilateral triangle. A triangle which has all its three sides equal in length is called an equilateral triangle. In the given triangle LMN, LM is equal to MN, is equal to NL, is equal to 5.5 cm. Classification of triangles on the basis of angles. Acute angled triangle. A triangle which has all the three angles acute, that is less than 90 degree, is called an acute angled triangle or acute triangle. Obtuse angled triangle. A triangle whose one angle is obtuse or more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called an obtuse angled triangle or obtuse triangle. Right angled triangle. A triangle whose one angle is a right angle, that is 90 degree, is called a right angled triangle or right triangle. Properties of triangles. Do you know the properties of triangles? Yes, let me explain them to you. The sum of three angles of a triangle equals to 180 degree. In each case, the sum of the measures of angles equals to 180 degree. So, if two angles of a triangle are given, we can easily find out its third angle. 
For example, suppose in a right angled triangle, if one angle is 50 degree, let's find its third angle. Triangle PQR is a right triangle, that is, one angle is right angle. Given angle PQR is equal to 90 degree, angle QPR is equal to 50 degree. Therefore, angle QRP is equal to 180 degree minus angle Q plus angle P is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree plus 50 degree is equal to 180 degree minus 140 degree. So, angle R is equal to 40 degree. The sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. In each case, if we add up any two sides of the triangle, the sum is more than its third side. Example 1. Let's see if it is possible to have a triangle whose sides are 5 cm, 6 cm and 4 cm respectively. The length of the sides are 5 cm, 6 cm and 4 cm respectively. 5 cm plus 6 cm is greater than 4 cm. 6 cm plus 4 cm is greater than 5 cm. 5 cm plus 4 cm is greater than 6 cm. Hence, a triangle with sides 5 cm, 6 cm and 4 cm is possible. Example 2. Let's check if the construction of a triangle possible in which the length of sides are 5 cm, 4 cm and 9 cm respectively. The length of sides are 5 cm, 4 cm and 9 cm. 5 cm plus 4 cm is equal to 9 cm. Here, the sum of two smaller sides is equal to the third side. But in a triangle, the sum of any two sides should be greater than the third side. Hence, no triangle is possible with sides 5 cm, 4 cm and 9 cm. I'll tell you some more facts about a triangle. Some more facts about a triangle. If all the sides of a triangle are equal, all its angles are also equal or in other words, an equilateral triangle is also an equiangular triangle. In an isosceles triangle, the angles opposite to the equal sides are equal. An acute angle triangle may be scalene, isosceles or equilateral. In an obtuse angle triangle, the side opposite to the obtuse angle is the longest. In an obtuse angled triangle, only one angle can be obtuse and that angle is the greatest angle of the triangle. In a right angle triangle, only one angle can be right angle and that angle is the greatest angle of the triangle. In a triangle, the smallest angle will have a smallest side opposite to it and similarly, Greatest angle will have a longest side opposite to it. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right angle triangle and it is the side opposite to the right angle. An obtuse angled triangle or a right angle triangle can never be equilateral. It can be scalene triangle or isosceles triangle. If any side of a triangle is produced, the angle so formed is called an exterior angle and equal to the sum of two interior opposite angles. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle 4. Quadrilaterals Now that we have learned three-sided polygons, that is, triangles, let us move on to four-sided polygons that are known as quadrilaterals. A closed figure made up of four line segments is called a quadrilateral. The adjoining figure is called a quadrilateral A, B, C, D or B, C, D, A or C, D, A, B or D, A, B, C. Parts or elements of a quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral with four sides namely A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A respectively. It has four vertices, namely A, B, C and D. The angle between two adjacent sides is an angle of quadrilateral. So, a quadrilateral has four angles, that is, angle 
DAB, angle ABC, angle BCD and angle CDA. A line segment joining a pair of opposite vertices is called a diagonal. So, there are two diagonals namely AC and BD. Now let's see a table of elements. There are four elements, sides, vertices, angles and diagonals. Sides are four in number, namely AB, BC, CD and DA. Vertices are four in number two, namely A, B, C and D. Angles are four in number two, namely angle DAB, angle ABC, angle BCD and angle CDA. Diagonals are two in number, namely AC and BD. A quadrilateral may have some relations between its sides and angles. On the basis of these relations, quadrilaterals are classified and given different names. Types of quadrilaterals Do you know different types of quadrilaterals? Yes, I'll explain you. Parallelogram A quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel and equal is called a parallelogram. Its opposite angles are equal. Here, LMNO is a parallelogram and LM is parallel to ON, LO is parallel to MN, LO is equal to MN, LM is equal to ON, angle L is equal to angle N, angle M is equal to O. Rectangle A rectangle is a parallelogram in which all the angles are right angles. Here, ABCD is a rectangle and AB is parallel to DC, AD is parallel to BC, AD is equal to BC, AB is equal to DC. Angle A is equal to angle B, is equal to angle C, is equal to angle D, is equal to 90 degree. Square A square is a rectangle in which all sides are equal. Here, ABCD is a square and AB is parallel to DC, BC is parallel to AD, AB is equal to BC, is equal to CD, is equal to DA. Angle A is equal to angle B, is equal to angle C, is equal to angle D, is equal to 90 degree. Rhombus A rhombus is a parallelogram whose all sides are equal, opposite sides are parallel, and opposite angles are equal. Here, LMNO is a rhombus and LM is equal to MN is equal to NO is equal to OL. Angle L is equal to angle N. Angle O is equal to angle M. LM is parallel to ON. OL is parallel to NM. Trapezium A quadrilateral is called a trapezium if a pair of its opposite sides are parallel. Here, ABCD is a trapezium and AB is parallel to DC. Sum of angles of a quadrilateral. Do you know what is the sum of angles of a quadrilateral? Yes, I can explain you. Let us join the opposite vertices of a quadrilateral ABCD. We have now two angles in this figures. We know that. The sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. Since there are two triangles, therefore, the sum of angles of two triangles is 180 degree plus 180 degree is equal to 360 degree. Conclusion No matter what the shape of quadrilateral is, the sum of four angles is 360 degree. Example 1. Suppose in a quadrilateral ABCD, angle A is equal to 100 degree, angle B is equal to 105 degree and angle C is equal to 70 degree. Let's find angle D. We know that the sum of four angles of a quadrilateral ABCD is 360 degree or angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degree or 100 degree plus 105 plus 70 degree 
plus angle D is equal to 360 degree. 275 degree plus angle D is equal to 360 degree. Angle D is equal to 360 degree minus 275 degree is equal to 85 degree. Example 2. Let's try to find the measure of the missing angles in a parallelogram if angle A is equal to 70 degree. We know that the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So, angle C will also measure 70 degree. Sum of angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree or angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degree or 70 degree plus angle B plus 70 degree plus angle D is equal to 360 degree. Since angle A is equal to angle C, angle B plus angle D plus 140 degree is equal to 360 degree. Angle B plus angle D is equal to 360 degree minus 140 degree is equal to 220 degree. But angle B is equal to angle D because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Angle B is equal to angle D is equal to 220 degree divided by 2 is equal to 110 degree.